Yo, what's good boys? My name is Liquid and I'll be showing you guys a tool that you can use to drastically decrease your in-game input delay and boost plus stabilize your frames. Now, this isn't just a tool for Fortnite, but it can also be used on games like Valorant, Apex, Warzone, and much more. And the tool that we'll be using is called Process Lasso and the link to where you can download it will be in the description of the video. With no more time wasted, let's cue the intro. you download it open fortnite or whichever game you want to do this on and have it windowed or minimized so that you can see your desktop and process lasso should be on your desktop or if you have it in a folder just double click it to open it now at first the program may seem overwhelming and confusing but it's very easy to learn so let me just close off fortnite and let's get started with it now with this program make sure to click on the one that's above the exe one okay and if you're worried about this messing up your pc in any way even though it won't you can always create a restore point to bring your pc settings back into the state that it was before doing any of this and it's pretty simple to do so just click on the windows button and type in create a restore point it should be that first one click on enter go to where it says create then you can name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it process lasso so i know which one it is and click on create just wait for it to load up it's not going to take too long if you're worried about this messing up your system you can always go back to it and it'll be like you did nothing and change nothing so basically you would be doing this with no risk now open process lasso back up and follow every step that i'll do in right click Click on that, go to CPU priority, go to always, and make sure high is checked out and check also Windows dynamic thread. Make sure these are checked. If this does end up closing, just right click on the same thing again, go to CPU priority always and make sure that it does have the check mark. After this, go to CPU affinity, go to always and make sure that all of these are checked. Now listen closely to when I say this. If you have if you have four CPUs, if you have four cores, make sure they're all checked. But if you have more than eight cores, or say you have eight or more, uncheck CPU zero because cpu zero is mostly used for system processes so you don't really need that so just uncheck it to better clarify what i said before what i said before about having four cores forget that only do this if you have eight or more cores on your pc so if you only have four i wouldn't recommend unchecking cpu zero but if you have eight cores or more on your pc uncheck cpu zero because your game will perform better after doing this now right click on that again go to application power profile and make sure you click on bitsum highest performance click on that this pop-up will come up then just click on okay next right click on that again and click on exclude from pro balance click on that and this should come up after that click on okay now after this right click again then go to more and click on disable idle saver so then go to more go to hard throttle go to current and make sure no throttle is selected and as for always same thing click on a no throttle make sure that's checked and now with that being done close out fortnite or whatever game that you had open and restart it back up for these changes to be in effect and that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video you'll definitely like this video on the top right of your screen and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section have a great day and i hope to see you in the next video peace